Are you kidding me? This thing, it fills the entire road. Hey guys, so really quickly before we get into today's video, I've been getting a lot of questions about if I'm going to the Toronto Auto Show, and yes I am, this coming Sunday I will be there with Raymond hosting the Forza Motorsports 7 World Gaming and FAF Forza 7 Tournament for $20,000. So if you want to come meet us, there's more information down below and I hope to see you all there. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 in the lovely United Kingdom. Once again, it doesn't actually look like the United Kingdom because there's actually a blue sky for the first time in history. Anyways, as it's a new season, we got a whole bunch of cool stuff. We got some new events to go and do, which I definitely want to do. For instance, the Quartz Regalia. We are going to unlock the Quartz Regalia as well as the monster truck version of the Quartz Regalia, the Type D. And then tomorrow, actually, we're going to unlock the Nissan uh, 300ZX. It's a super, super cool car, so if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Oh, there we go. Autumn Community Championship numero dos. All right. We need to place first against expert drivatars to win the Quartz Regalia in a classic rally car. Give me a super. Give me a super. Give me a super. Two events? That's it. So as per the usual with Forza Horizon 4, the seasonal championships are not difficult. I'm sure our boy Nathan will make a tune and, uh, and that'll help you if you have any difficulties, but unlocking this car should not be a problem. Okay, guys, I've realized why there's only two races. This one, we're not even at the halfway point and we're already two minutes in. To be honest, a much longer race than I was expecting, almost five minutes, but it wasn't too difficult. All right, one step closer to the Quartz Regalia. Race number two, let's get it going, okay. I, you don't expect a C-Class car to spin its wheels that- Oh, okay, where am I going? What is, what is this circuit? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you find it a little bit difficult, Nathan put together a tune for the Fiat 131. So if you want to check that out and make life a little bit easier for yourself, I would recommend going and checking out that thing. But it's only two races. No problem at all. The Autumn Community Championship has been completed. Thank you very much. Expert Drivatars have been defeated. The Regalia is now unlocked. Thank you so much. However, that, that is the normal Regalia. The Type D Regalia is the monster truck version, or what I call the monster truck version. Essentially, you might remember the Quartz Regalia from Forza Horizon 3. The thing is massive, huge, long car. One of the longest cars in the game, I believe. The Quartz Regalia Type D is imagine the Quartz Regalia, but on steroids. Anyways, so yeah, this is the Quartz Regalia. Look at my guy pimped out with his little hat, his glasses on, his hoodie. That man is a professional. However, this thing's cool, but not the focus of what I wanted to do today. If you go over to cars, you go over to car mastery, and you go all the way up to the top right-hand corner. The Quartz Regalia Type D will be added to your garage for a cost of 900... Of 99 skill points. How insane. So make sure you save your skill points up. We're going right in and we're going to get it. So yeah, you get influence. You get blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I just want the Type D. We buy this one. 99 skill points done thank you thank you the quartz regalia type d is now in our garage here we go this is what i'm talking about the regalia versus the type d how goddamn cool is that thing so say hello to the quartz regalia type d with the biggest tires i believe that have ever been on a car in this game, maybe the only thing that could rival it's like the Unimog, but I don't even think that is as big. It actually has nine exhausts, fun fact, the six on the two sides, and then we've also got three in the middle because apparently six wasn't enough. You might notice there are some things underneath the car. Uh, those are jets because in the, uh, in the Final Fantasy game where this is originally from, this car can fly. I think you can now see why I call this the monster truck for Forza Horizon 4. Yo, look at it through here. It's like the whole scale of the car is different 
than anything. I have a feeling we might be overcompensating slightly. So check this out. When you rev it, can you shoot a flame? Shoot a flame. Okay, how do I get you to shoot a flame? Shoot a flame. No. All right, shoot a flame. Yeah. Yes. The nine flames are unbelievable. It's like, it is so over the top. It's so goddamn cool. Like, look, what other car do you know shoots nine flames? So I think we got to go have some fun with this thing. Let's go in immediately. Try our hand at customizing the thing because the thing C-Class, like, it's cool. It's great. I don't think anybody's interested in seeing this thing stock. So yeah, keep in mind, this car is completely free. If you have, like, the base game of Forza, you can go and get this car. No, nothing extra. You just gotta go put in some time and unlock it via the, uh, the community championship. But anyways, let's jump in, see what we got. Oh my god, we've actually got just about everything open here. That's cool. Okay, engine swap. So we are currently running 433 horsepower. 511 foot-pounds of torque. What is that engine? We've also got a 6.5 V12 and a racing 7.2 V8. Oh, this is a brand new V12 engine. Oh, very cool. I didn't know that. Do we go balls to the wall and we swap in the big bad V12? I mean, it's already a V12. Might as well. So V12 twin turbo. We're already up to A class. We're gonna keep it all wheel drive because, I mean, why not? Uh, we can put a rear wing as well. Why? I, 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 I don't get certain, certain design elements. Tires, we can't change anything. Okay, before we get too far, is it just me or the logo for the Quartz company? Looks like the Maserati logo just kind of changed up a bit. Well, we can change the rims, but I don't know. I kind of like them. They kind of look like super off-road. I mean, we could chuck these on or like, or these, but nah, we'll be fine. Oh, you remove a thousand four hundred pounds. Oh my god. We come all the way down to 4,004. It's not exactly light, but you, you wouldn't expect it to be for something of this size. Um, we can put a roll cage on it. That might actually look really cool. Hold on. I think when we're driving this around, our roof is down, right? So I'm thinking when we're driving this, it'll look really cool with the roll cage. And I don't know. We'll see. Okay, there you go. Oh my god, it's true. We removed 200 pounds just from the rims. All right, so we're 4,400 pounds now. The axles are missing. Uh, to be fair, a lot is missing from this car. For instance, uh, there's nothing actually touching the tires. Wait, so I just realized as well, we totally can't play around with the, with the height. We can't lower it or raise it up. Okay, we have eight years in the thing. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. We are raised up 41 inches. If we wanted to slam it, we could go all the way down to... Oh. Never mind. That's that's not nearly as far as I thought it would go. Oh my god. Yo, the roll cage? The roll cage was an amazing idea. Okay, you need the Jesus. The sound. Does anybody hear like a little funky buzzing? Is that only me? It's like, it's like a staticky noise. I, that's so weird. You know, okay, here, here, here's what we'll say it is. I totally acknowledge that the sound might be a glitch, but, um, because we're, we're nice people, we're gonna say that it's not in fact a glitch. It's actually the thrusters underneath. Uh, you can't see them right now, but, uh, they are in fact on and they are doing their afterburner type thing. Put it in a drag race, trust me. Maybe it's held on by magnet tires. That's a good idea. I like this. This is like the hidden story behind the quartz regalia. Uh. Yeah, just put me next to a fo <laughs> Just casually put me next to the widest car that's currently sold. Um. Big F. I want to- I want to do it again! <laughs> the car is actually too big. You can definitely tell we're overcompensating. I- I do want to lift off at the end, just... Flames! <laughs> this is the new greatest car in Forza. I guess we need to go and do an off-road race with this thing, like... 
What would even be good for this? Quartz Regalia, we're racing a Ford Raptor. You know it's a bad sign when you dwarf a Ford... A Ford Raptor. <laughs> like, the Ford Raptor is enormous. Let me tell you that. Doesn't fit in parking spots. It's way too tall for most garages, like indoors. But yet somehow, the Quartz Regalia makes the, the Ford Raptor look tiny. Okay, this buzzing thing is seriously so annoying. I just killed Bambi. I was expecting this thing to be absolute trash to drive. I was like, this car is going to be awful. It's so big, so heavy. And big, huge tires in a lift kit like this usually ruins a car. Somehow, it works so goddamn well. I mean, sure, it's slow to react. But the fact that I can just chuck it? Awesome. So awesome. Those magnet rims keeping our suspension in check. I mean, do we really? Yeah, I guess we have sort of kind of suspension. <laughs> All right. Quartz Regalia. Solid car. Hey, Fire, can you park in front? Wait. Fire, are you the same size as my wheel? So today, today we learned the PLP 50. About the same size as the Quartz Regalia's tire. Can I crush a peel? Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> he went to Never Never Land. All right, uh, fire one more go. I'm gonna come on. I'm gonna come on this side of the lake. He flew so far. All right. <laughs> it's so sad. And. I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> I've just yeeted him out of the map. <laughs> All right. And to the... I have a bad feeling about this. And he's gone. <laughs> I love this car. This is the greatest car that's ever been in the game, I'm telling you. Based on your guy's recommendation, I apparently need to drift the thing. So rear wheel drive. Oh, that's that's tires. That's not what I wanted. We we won't be able to have drift suspension or anything, but it'll be worth it. We're fine. We're going to make our own wannabe drift suspension. I can't remember the last time I came into this game and I actually drifted a car that didn't have drift suspension. So bear with me when this doesn't go super well. Let's take it here. One of my personal favorites. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> All right. Yo, it slides. Okay, my gears are really funky, but it actually slides. Are you kidding me? This thing, it fills the entire road when you go sideways. Are you kidding me? Like, what? What? That is, okay, my gears are really weird. But that is in 77,000 points on my first attack. Okay, I need to fix the gears. But that is amazing. <laughs> it's built for everything. I'm not used to being the size of the road. That's for sure. And in, go, go, go. <laughs> Thank God the traffic is ghost or they would be dead. It won't really stop a quartz regalia. Honestly, oh, we dip tires. No, I mean, I guess that's gonna happen when you're the size of a literal land yacht. Oh, we actually got worse. Sixty-nine thousand. Well, I mean, if there if there's a score you're gonna get worse on, that's that's one that's acceptable. Let's go here, and we go again. Legit. I mean, like, okay, up, up. drift. <laughs> Okay, there we go. When it starts to drift, then it goes much better. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We are fantastic. Look at it go. It is such a cool car. I've never seen a car in this game that can just, like, blow your mind with so many different things. Like, it's awesome. Like, such a goddamn cool car. Seriously impressed. 
obviously it's good at the off-roading stuff. We've got 1,500 horsepower. We have the most ground clearance probably of anything in this game. It can somehow do drifting, and it can also send people to the goddamn Shadow Realm. Why not? Oh. And because it's so big, you sometimes crash it into rock walls. The only bad thing about this car is this entire time we've been dealing with this stupid sound glitch and with like these crackles and stuff. Like, sure we can make all the jokes like, oh, it's the Thrustmasters, oh, it's the magnets in the wheels. It's just kind of annoying. If you spot one on the auction house, pick it up ASAP. These things are gonna be worth so much money. And like I was saying, tomorrow, we are gonna check out the Forza Horizon 4 Nissan 300ZX. One of the coolest JDM cars, the meanest JDM cars to have ever existed.